A kingdom without a king. A realm left in ruin. But a single hope remains. One rat must make a stand. A warrior. A hero. A king. Drive back the vile pond scum. Reclaim your land. Deliver your subjects to peace and glory. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Dead and defiled. Reggie had never seen such evil, nor felt such rage. She had his crown at last, but not his kingdom. <laughs> Dennis had returned, but shamefaced. Drunk from drowning his sorrows in the village, he couldn't hold back the frogs there or stop them taking their brother, the chef. Reggie had to get to Longtail Village to rescue his brother, and fast. If he could fix the travel board, it'd show the quickest way. Longtail Village always smelled of fresh, whole bug bread before. Now it reeked of burning fur and gore. And something putrid. Pond slime and those that dwelt in it. The Frog Clan Bog Brothers. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Guard Captain's last act was to secure the village elder in the town hall and bar this gate to the Frog Horde. But some had got past him. Frogs were inside. The villagers, they had no more fighters. So now.
Guard Captain's last act was to secure the village elder in the town hall and bar this gate to the frog horde. But some had got past him. Frogs were inside. The villagers, they had no more fighters. Until now. Reggie had found them. The Elder and Robin the Ranger, who had been his last guard. The young king sought no thanks for saving them. He sought only to find his brother. This old rat was right about what was beyond the gate. He'd need to stock up and prepare.
This thug of a guard frog wasn't an easy kill, but it was a sweet one. The chef's hat. Reggie must be close.
His brother's chef, beaten, chained, and left as bait. The Bog Brothers, stinking like the place they called home, had done this. Thank <laughs> you. 